In this video, we'll review how to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula tells us that the solutions to this equation can be found through this expression. We have to decide what to use for a, b, and c, and then plug those values into the quadratic formula. a should be the coefficient of x squared, which for this equation is 4. b is the coefficient of x, which for this equation is 11. c is the constant term, which is 6. Making the replacements in the quadratic formula, we obtain this expression. Notice how each appearance of b in purple has been replaced with 11, how each appearance of a in red has been replaced with 4, and how c has been replaced with 6. At this point, we should try to simplify as much as we can. For the denominator, we have 2 times 4, which equals 8. Inside the square root, we have 11 squared, which is 121. 4 times 4 times 6 gives us 96. Next, 121 minus 96 gives us 25. Then the square root of 25 is 5. Because of the plus or minus symbol in the quadratic formula, there are two cases to consider. We have to consider both addition and subtraction. If we add, we have negative 11 plus 5 over 8. If we subtract, we have negative 11 minus 5 over 8. Making these two calculations will lead to the solutions. If we add negative 11 plus 5, we get negative 6. Then negative 6 over 8 simplifies to negative 3 over 4. If we subtract, we have negative 11 minus 5, which is negative 16. Then negative 16 over 8 is negative 2. These are the two solutions and our final answer. 